office. Once again, I'd offer you a seat, but it's only going to be a minute, so there won't be any time to sit down and make yourself comfortable. I just want to speak to you about another one of those things that people say and do in the churches that are not in the Bible. Another very popular phrase that people use in the churches all the time, all the time, that's not in the Bible, is God the Holy Spirit. God the Holy Spirit. God the Holy Spirit is a phrase that's not in the Bible. It's a God that's not in the Bible. It's a God that doesn't exist. It is a God that's part of a trinity of gods that is part of a trinity doctrine that was adopted uh, from paganism by the Roman Catholic Church and her Protestant daughters. There is no triune God. There is no three persons. And there is no third person of the Godhead, and therefore there is no God the Holy Spirit. God, the Holy Spirit, is a God that doesn't exist. The Holy Spirit of God does exist. The Holy Spirit of God does exist because God is a spirit, John 4, 24, and God is holy, 1 Peter 1, 16. And so the Holy Spirit is God, the Almighty God. Okay? It's not a third of God. It is God. And God is the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I'd like to share with you two verses of the scripture that will show you conclusively and, and succinctly exactly what I'm saying. Let's go to Matthew chapter 10, verses 19 and 20. Jesus was speaking to his disciples as he sent them forth throughout uh, the, the, uh, the land of Israel to proclaim his coming. And he, he said, but when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but your Father which speaketh in you. Pretty clear, right? Who is it that will be speaking in them? Who is it that's going to give them the words? Their Father. Our Father. Those of us who are Christians, we call him our Father. So let's go over to Mark, chapter 13, verse 11. Same conversation, different gospel. But when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak, neither do ye premeditate. But whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak ye, for it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. Well, wait a minute, Jesus said over here that it's the Spirit of your Father. But here it says the Holy Ghost. Why? Because there are two phrases that talk about the same person. See, the Holy Ghost is God the Father. There is no other Holy Ghost except God the Father. He is the Holy Ghost. Let me just show you one more quick example. In Luke chapter 1, when the angel Gabriel was talking to Mary in verse 35, it says, And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Who is the Father of the Son of God? It is the Holy Ghost. See, so there is no God, the Holy Spirit. God, the Holy Spirit doesn't exist. That deity doesn't exist. The only deity, the only true and living God that exists is God, the Father. That's the only God there is. And he is the Holy Ghost. May this message be a blessing to you. This is another installment of things that are not in the Bible.